Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Trap on the Boomer Bus channel, a Bears podcast by a Bears fan. I'm your host, Terry, and today, going to go back to the film. Uh, got a little time, and so we're going to try to clip out and look at every Justin Fields pass from the Packers game. Um, I'm just thinking about the editing I'm going to do, but it's all right. We're going to get through it. Um, obviously, he didn't pass that much, so... <laughs> that part works. So we are going to go ahead and see what we can see with our young quarterback. And hopefully, um, hopefully it goes smoothly. So uh, I just need to get this set up. All right. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this started. All right. So. This is after the kickoff. Let it do its thing. All right, so we got trips to the right. We ran out of this formation the first drive. Now this ends in the sack. So let's just rewind the play. As we can see, film still jumping over a little bit. All right, so after the play action at the top of the drop, uh, we got a couple of vertical routes and then one outbreaking route. Looks like Komet settling down over the middle, and then we got uh, Montgomery to the flat. Uh, I can't really tell from Justin Fields' eyes, but I would assume typically you're not, especially um, when you got a, a deep safety, you aren't going to go here because the middle of the field's closed. So you're probably looking for this. Uh, the corner is on it pretty well. So if you're not looking for a vertical shot, those are just clear outs. And then you're, you're really trying to get to this route is what I assume. But here's the check down should you need it. And that's probably what you need it. So you let it play. The pressure comes. Field gets off his spot and ends up going down. So from the end zone view, we can see what happened. Hopefully. <laughs> Looks like they brought five. Looks like it was just a five-man pressure. Got the three interior guys covering up the, uh, the center and the guards. And then we got the two guys on the edge. Komet's going to give a little bit of a chip to Preston to give Braxton Jones some help. And we've seen that since the preseason, kind of getting Braxton some help. But Borum needs help, too. <laughs> it always pauses at the moment that I don't want it to pause, but what can I do? Either way, the pressure came. We saw Justin Fields kind of bail out. Now, I don't think it was immediate pressure. That's more like bull rush pressure. So it's not like you had a free rusher. I think at that point, you got to get that ball out to to um, Montgomery. All right, so we motion to basically a trip set. This one's kind of simple. Uh, we go to a bubble screen, and Justin Fields puts the ball in the dirt. And I'm not sure. I don't think it was any slick weather at that point, but that ball looked really <laughs> weird coming out of his hand. It just sailed and had no velocity on it, which is usually usually quarterbacks overthrow those balls. But there we go. So we got empty. We got trips to the right. Let's see. They got um, two safeties back. Corners back, too. So that tells you it's probably not a true cover, too. Probably going to end up being a robber or a blitz or something. Or quarters, duh. <laughs> so, it, oh my God. I, <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, maybe there's no good time for the film to act silly, but I feel like it does it at the point where I really don't want it to. Because I want to see, I just want to see who missed the block. I mean, it looks like it's Tevin Jenkins, but all right. So, uh, so that's the point. So we'll go to the next clip. All right. So. We got Justin Fields in the shotgun. This is third down, I believe. Uh, we got a bunch of trips to the right. Let's see if we can let it play. All 
All right, let's rewind that back. <laughs> All right, so we had a drop back, pockets okay. So this is the play where he ends up um, going past the line of scrimmage to throw it. So let's see if we can look at the route combo. So we had three initially, and then Komet comes out delayed. All right, looks like we got, uh, I would say, kind of a, a levels concept, two digs, one deeper. And Justin Fields scrambling up at this point. So we got clear out, and then it looks like uh, Herbert releases late too for the check down. So we'll see where we are at the point, the top of his drop. And this is again, not to say that it's perfect, but this is where you got to start worrying, not worrying, but working on anticipation. And you know where the routes are going, and so you can't wait to see it get there before you get ready to throw. And that's what happens to a lot of quarterbacks. So at this point, you feel like the rush is coming. Everybody's already at their break, and you time up these routes a lot of times with the drop. So now you need to know where you want to go. Here's the first down marker. If you feel like you can't see this receiver, uh, because of his linebacker or whatever, then you need to understand, okay, is, is this clear? Because this is a clear route. Can I fit it in here or do I just take it down here? But um, Fields kind of pulls it, wants to run, but then sees the defenders and then makes a mistake and throws it. So we'll see from the end zone copy. And so he's got time, and he's staring dead across the middle. So he's waiting for one of them to come across. But again, I think he's just waiting for that uh, moment where they uh, fully get open. And you just can't do that in this league. All right, so we got first down. Let's see. We're in a two-by-two two, uh, with a tight end. And they have single high. So middle field is probably going to be closed. Uh, let me see right here. Okay, so we got kind of an over route by Mooney. And kind of a, a, a deep dig by Pettis as well. This looks like a clear vertical on the back side. And then... We have Komet running a short route. I couldn't see what it was. And then Montgomery coming out the backfield. So we'll go back a little bit to the beginning of the play. So we can see what they're running. So yeah, Komet runs an out route. And so we got two coming across the middle of the field immediately. And then one coming across late. The pocket's a little chaotic. Uh, Fields goes to Komet. Komet drops that right on his hands. So let's see how it looks from the pocket. I mean, Mustafer gets absolutely destroyed. And uh, no matter what they say about edge rushers, the quickest route to the quarterback is straight up the middle. And I'm assuming that's Kenny Clark. Mustafer got destroyed. So Fields stays in the pocket and delivers the pass. Give him kudos for that. And then Komet drops that one. So that's that's not on Fields. All right, we got third and long. Uh, let's see, two by two out of shotgun. And it's all slants, all slants. I hate that play, by the way. <laughs> I just, I never like all slants. I feel like I've said that before, but whatever. So we see corners are off, the middle's packed. That's kind of an easy read just to pick up some yards um, and then get ready to punt because 
Uh, obviously, didn't pick up the first down, but that's what happens when you get put in those situations of negative plays. So it looks like they rush four. And we do well for the most part. Looks like Kenny Clark is on um, Patrick, and he's getting the business. Kenny Clark's a monster. So, yeah, just a short three-step drop. All right, so we have second down, I believe, second and short, something like that. Coming out in empty, trips right or left. Middle of the field, close. Looks like they're man coverage. Got an outbreaking route. Looks like it's just going to be a clear over the middle. Got like a dig and another outbreaking route. And we get sacked. So let's see at the point of the pressure where the routes were. So right now, pocket's getting ready to collapse. Everybody's on their breaks. I mean, this is kind of a rub route a little bit. So you got Komet there. You got Mooney there. The pocket's still clean enough. You can make that throw. Then it collapses. Might not be the throw you wanted, but that's the thing. You got to you gotta take what the defense is giving you. So five-man pressure again. And the, both of the tackles, and, and really that's what it was most of the night. I mean, you didn't really have Preston Smith or Gary killing anybody. Not that I think they even do that a lot. Uh, they're typically bully ball players, and that's exactly what we got with our tackles is they kept getting pent down and causing, and, and you could see Fields is at the top of his drop a lot. Like he's not manipulating the pocket. The drop is pretty deep. And so if the tackles are getting pent down, they're getting pent right on the quarterback. And then you need to either, you know, work the pocket or get ready to make a throw. And as I said before, you see Fields is looking to escape. And that, that's the exact stuff that I worry about when I talk about not letting the quarterback, a uh, young quarterback, fall in love with running the ball you need to stay in the pocket in some points and make that play this is another play that could have been made might not have been huge but you got Mooney on the linebacker you get him that ball on the move maybe he can take off that's man coverage so again the pocket collapses and Fields has to make a difficult play and he's not able to ends up taking the sack all right so now we got third down we got two by two Let's see. Middle of the field close. One safety. Off of play action for no reason. Good amount of time there this time. Let's see what. Let's see what we got downfield. All right. So go a little bit. All right, so it looks like Dante's running a deep stop. We got a leak out by Komet. Where's our other receiver? Did I lose them? Let's see what uh, slots run. Oh, he's just running vertical, wide open. And then we got the check down. I feel like I lost somebody. Oh, they might have left him in for protection. So then we go with the check down there. Let's go back. So Komet leaks out. We got vertical here. We got deep stop here. Maybe this is the other flat route. I definitely lost one of these. Oh, yeah. Mooney helps in and helps, <laughs> kind of helps, I guess, and then leaks out. Yeah, Justin Fields, you missed that one, bro. <laughs> that man is wide open. That man is wide open. I mean, even Komet's open at this point. And this... Um, you know, watch the end zone copy. I I can't ever 100% tell you what's happening 
from just, you know, watching the game on TV. But I've watched the game long enough to know what I'm feeling and what I think I'm seeing. And then all 22 kind of confirms it. Yeah, Justin Fields is not seeing the field. You know, no pun intended. He is not seeing the field. He's not seeing the coverage. He's not seeing any of that stuff. And that play, is that just tells you. All right, so this is off the turnover. We've been running the ball. They run a quick huddle. Try to catch them off guard, and they do. To get a nice little completion. This is uh, definitely more of a Green Bay specialty, so we don't even know what the defense is lined up in. Oh, Mooney is wide open on that outbreak, but uh, I don't even know what these guys are running. <laughs> I, I mean, this is a big confusion play, but he runs kind of a post over the middle, speed out, and they just catch him sleeping uh, before the pass rush could get him just kind of, I wouldn't say a cheap completion, but kind of a cheap completion. And the pressure still did almost get him there. All right, so I believe this is third down. Trips right, open. And never mind, this is technically a run play. I mean, technically it is, but we could look at how bad it went. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know if this was supposed to be a read or draw. It looks like it's a midline option because they leave Kenny Clark open. But what I don't think they expected was to get this blitz. And now at that point, I got to feel like Jenkins should have went up to the linebacker and not there. Yeah, we got three people on one guy. That's a problem. And so... While you leave one open to read, you're not expecting that one, so Fields kind of takes off. But Preston Smith is playing on the edge really well. All right, we're on the second down. We got a motion PA. Boot looking for the shot down the field. And just misses. Uh, well, not just misses, but <laughs> simply missed the pass. And he's got the pressure. I mean, not. I mean, the pressure's in his face. He's got to make that throw against the. First of all, against his body, and then against the pressure in his face as well. Um, not really an easy play to make. I think typically he has good deep field accuracy, but in, in my opinion, when you when your boot action. I, I would rather have a route coming towards you and not, you know, away from you. That's just me. All right. So uh, I believe it's second down. We got another play action and they want to boot. They run a flood concept the other way. But the Packers, man, the, uh, they had a good beat on us. I don't know if it's because they knew Getsy or what, but they had a great beat on us as far as their edge play. And as you can see, they kept five people near the line of scrimmage most of the game. It's like a high school game. And so we have the play action, the flood concept. Everybody's going to be running this way. So you got three options. But you got Preston Smith on that edge ready. And they play discipline. I mean, there's not much you can really say <laughs> outside of that. Uh, Smith and Gary played really disciplined on the edge at all times and they knew exactly uh when the when to set the edge and contain it and when to play the cut back. All right, we're in the white zone here. It's probably gonna be my last one. It's too much <laughs> trying to find all these plays. Uh we run in a lot. So two by two. Immediate pressure. Turns into a scramble drill. Like usual. Let's see. Oh, uh, film. I hate it. I hate it so much. All right, so let's see. We got real tight splits, which I really don't know why. That just makes the edge shorter. And Braxton just gets beat immediately on a rip move. 
And Fields does what he has to do. He has to scramble. All right, so that is it. <laughs> That's it. I'm tapping out. It's way too much. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, looking at that, I, like I said, I didn't take anything about week one into consideration. Looking at that, did not see a ton of growth from last year. Uh, that's what I'm going to say. I'm not, I'm trying to keep this video short, uh, as possible, but yeah, didn't see a lot of growth from last year. Um, the offensive line is not that much better, uh, as much as Braxton might have potential. Um, we still with Borum and Braxton and, um, even Mustafer, we just really are not. We're not going to be in a place where good defensive line is not going to absolutely kill our offense. And we're looking more like the Titans out here, which is crazy. You got a guy like Justin Fields with this type of talent. And I've told you the receiving core is not great. But honestly, the receiving core is not letting him down right now. Uh, you go to the All-22, and i rarely seen a, a situation where we just aren't getting open. Um and now, look, the Packers like to play a lot of zone, so that's going to happen. You're going to have people get open. But still, with the concepts that are being drawn up, you have all the potential in the world to actually, um, you know, get people open, especially against zone. It's just on the quarterback to be able to read that, deliver the ball, but then it's also on the offensive line to give them some time. And I think it's a combination of both. The offensive line isn't playing spectacular, but Justin Fields has shown he clearly is not reading the field uh, like he should as well. And that might be his clock is sped up. That might be he's seeing a little bit of ghost. Um, or he just might not be good at reading defenses. Now, as we've seen, like I've said, with a lot of quarterbacks, uh, especially this year, that can improve. But, man, it's, it's very disappointing to see right now that um, we have – I mean, because Mooney's got good speed. Um, St. Brown and uh, Pettis, they're not slow. And then, obviously, Fields is really fast. So, with as much athleticism as we have you and as big of an uh, arm that Justin has, you would hope that we could be able to do something on offense a little more dynamic than what we're doing. But it, it seems like, for the moment, unless we're against bad opponents, we're going to be just running that ball. So, y'all better tuck in for a long season. All right, that's it for me. Go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up, subscribe, and remember, stay up and bear down.